I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space Soon after President Kennedy's call to go to the moon in 1961, a number of researchers began to think about the various aspects of a lunar flight. NASA's Flight Research Center at Edwards proposed a free flight lunar landing simulator program. The research test vehicle was intended to investigate the inherent problems of lunar descents where there is no drag and weight is only one sixth of Earth. The proposed technique for simulating the lunar gravity installed a jet engine underneath or within the machine on gimbals, so the thrust was always vertically upward. The engine thrust would then be adjusted so that the craft's net weight, that is its gross weight minus the engine thrust, would equal its lunar equivalent. The force required to lift the net weight would be provided by throttleable rockets. The first flight of the LLRV in October of 64 was flown by Joe Walker. First liftoff was what you might call tentative. The second was considerably smoother. During the following year, Joe Walker and Don Malik flew about 150 development flights, expanding the flight envelope and investigating the adequacy of the design and the systems. An advanced version of the LLRV, the Lunar Landing Training Vehicle, or LLTV, proved to be an excellent simulator and was highly regarded by the Apollo Lunar Module crews as necessary to lunar landing preparation. Typically, the pilot took off with the gimbals locked, flew out to the inner marker, which in this case was about four to 500 feet altitude, about a quarter of a mile from the intended touchdown spot. Arriving at the IP, he began a descent toward the target, switched into the lunar simulation mode, energized the lift rockets, and practiced the lunar landing. I was most fortunate to be involved throughout the entire lunar flying development. I had the pleasure of flying every one of the machines, the LLRF, the ground-based simulators, the LLRV, the LLTV, the lunar module, and even the Weber ejection seat, the last not by choice. NASA management was forever worried about the reliability and safety of these machines and continually wanted to shut them down but the pilots insisted they were vital to lunar landing preparation, and they prevailed. Drift into the right level. Head. Hey. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. We copy it down, Eagle. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Thank you, Neil, Buzz, and Mike. We're standing on your shoulders, building on your historic achievements. That drive to reach higher is alive and well in today's astronauts, who will travel aboard Orion on our very challenging path to Mars.